Good morning, Mr. Frandy. Yes, we are here actually in the barn, the giraffe barn. It's a really tall building, if you know what I'm saying. And up here, we're going to talk in a minute here about what they eat and how the food gets to them so they can get the sustenance they want. But I did want to answer one of our viewer and Facebook friends, Haley, asked um, on our Facebook page, how much do the giraffes sleep? And about four hours a day. Now, they can sleep for about five minutes rest standing up, but it's about four hours a night. And they actually curl up and they crane their head back around on top of themselves because their head actually has to stay above their heart. So, Haley, that's how they sleep and how the giraffes sleep. And thank you for that. And, of course, log on to our Facebook page. If you have any questions for Miss Andrea, our resident giraffe, I keep wanting to say zebra. They're really just giraffes mm -hmm. um, experts. So we'll certainly have questions for you as well. So we're up here in the feeding area. Yes. Yeah, um, this is where we weigh out their grain, and we have their hay and their alfalfa, which is the really grassy-looking hay. Mm -hmm. um, and we're actually going to feed a couple giraffe. Oh, this um, is fun. What is this now? Yeah, this is grain. So they get a type of pellet. Did you just eat that? How does it taste? Not really that good. No, no, I didn't think so. But um, we weigh it out for them, so it's all proportion, and they get a breakfast, and then they get a dinner as well. Now, these guys, all the animals here at the zoo, they're really on strict diets. You have dietitians that actually line up, and it's not like my, at home I just kind of feed my dog a bunch of food. Yeah, um, with hoofstock, it's a little bit different. Um, we do actually um, feed them according to the weather. So when it's winter time, they might get a little bit more because they need some more nourishment um, when it's cold. And then in the um, summertime, they'll need less. Um, right now, like especially with the giraffes, um, they're... The mothers that are nursing their kids, they'll need a little bit more food because they're lactating. So um, we have to keep track of all that. But we work with our vets to make sure we give them the right amount. Well, these guys look hungry. I'm just saying. Yeah. So let's feed one. Yeah. So this is Chrissy. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Sorry. And um, we're going to feed Chrissy her grain. And these are actually like kitchen sinks here. And so um, they get their water and their grain in their kitchen sink. <laughs> so everything but the kitchen sink, basically, is what they uh, <laughs> Yeah. Let, let me ask you this. We're looking at the top of these guys. And, Jared, see if you can get, look at this little girl right here. Yeah. What, are their, what are their horns? Are they any significance of the little bumps in her head? Yeah, uh, those are called Aussie cones. And they're actually to protect their skulls. From, uh, from what? From branches when they're walking around? Because obviously they probably bump into things in their head. Um, it can be, but um, also, too, like when they're um, fighting, um, it can protect them when they're bringing their necks around and hitting each other, especially the males. It's called necking. And, uh, <laughs> necking. Necking, yeah. And they'll actually wrap their necks around each other and then slam their heads into each other. So That cannot be pleasant. Um, no, probably not, but they do it a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's kind of cool. Oh, there, look at He's going to go ahead and eat. I love these giraffes. They're so docile. They're so sweet. And uh, in just a couple of minutes, we're actually going to go over and hang out with Calvin, the, one of the newer residents here at the zoo, right? Yeah, we're going to prepare his milk. He's still on milk, and we're hand-rearing him. And um, then we're going to feed him. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Well, guys, look at look at these guys. Look, you are just so sweet. So sweet. Hanging on the giraffe barn here at Riverbank Zoo and Garden. Of course, you can check that out and come out and meet these guys up close and personal as well. Freddie, maybe I'll bring one home for you. Just a thought. <laughs>